That word, Doc. Come on, Doc. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I have the task of bringing five-minute word this morning. But I'll only be before you for four and a half minutes. <laughs> what I got is profound, but it's short. It is the temptation of Jesus. The temptation of Jesus. If you go to uh, Matthew 4, starting at the first verse. Matthew 4. It says, Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. Then the tempter approached him and said, if you are the Son of God, listen, listen to that. If you are the Son of God, if you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Mm -hmm. He answered, It is written, man must not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. All right. All right. Every word that comes from the mouth of God. All right. And the devil took him to the holy city. Holy city. This was a holy city. And had him stand on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, All right. throw yourself down, for it is written, uh -oh. the devil know. The devil said, it is written, the yes, devil know the scripture. The devil knows. He said, the devil said, said, it is written, man must not, it is written, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will give his angels orders concerning you and they will support you and with hand with their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone Jesus told him listen to what Jesus said Jesus told him it is also written do not test the Lord your God do not test mm. the Lord your God. Let's eat. Let's eat. Mm. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, I will give you all these things if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus told him, go away, Satan, for it is written, worship the God, the Lord, your God, and serve only him. Then the devil left him, and angels came and began to serve him. All right. Angels came and began to serve him. The devil left him. All right. The devil left him. The example is for us All right. to know the scripture. We should know the scripture mm -hmm. as does the evil, the evil people in the world. Come on, come on. Because they, as did with Jesus, the devil will tempt us. He'll put shiny objects in front of us. He knows what we like uh -huh. and he'll flash it in front of us mm -hmm. what we like right. we need to be able to say 
it is written. We should be able to say it is written. Because if you know what the scripture is, you cannot be tempted. You cannot be tempted. Temptation is not a part of what happens with you. It is written. Devil knows the scripture. Devil knows it better than each of us. I was early this morning. I got here before anybody. Who did I see sitting on the steps? The devil. He got here earlier than me. He beat me here and was sitting, waiting for someone with a key. So soon as the door was open, he ran in. He ran in. He ran in. We must be aware of the temptation. Amen. We must be aware of what when we're tempted. Come on, so that we can say it is written. Amen. If you know, if you know the Bible, we need to read the Bible. And become familiar with the Bible so that we'll know when we're being tempted. Yeah. And it's important for us to say, in our minds only, if we say it in our minds only, it is written and go by what is written. Yeah. Understand and go by what is written. The devil puts those things in front of us that we like, that we like, and he tempts us. He tempted Jesus Christ with all the kingdoms of the world. But how, how can you give to Jesus something that's already his? All of the kingdoms of the world belong to his father. All the kingdoms of the world belong to God. And the devil asked him and said to him, if you are the son of God, if you are the son of God, but the devil knew. He was the son. The devil knew that he was the son of God. Amen. Jesus came here as an example so that we would know what to do, how to do. Amen. When to do, where to do, right. It is written. It is written. Jesus came down through 42 generations and walked this earth as a man and as God. But as a man, he was tempted. He was tempted. And he died. For us. He died for you and he died for me. Yes. And he was put in a borrowed tomb. And he laid there. But on that third day morning, that third day morning, he got up. He got up. You have to understand that God raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus had some things to do. Because it didn't take three days to raise him. God don't need three days to do nothing. Yeah. He had some things to do. And when he was finished, God raised Jesus from the dead. It is written. Find out what's written. God bless you.